Hi, Jacqueline Coates at French Art School in Paris at the Musée d'Orsay, hosting the world's largest collection of French Impressionist paintings. Um, I'm just standing in front of Claude Monet's paintings of um, the Cathedral of Rouen, of which he did a series. Monet was one of the most con contemporary thinking artists, uh, really a bit of an, an, an entrepreneur of his time. Um, unlike many other artists who just did a painting or two of something, he actually started doing series and he would paint um, you know, 28 paintings of the Creuse River at different times of the day and different lights. And I guess what happened through this process is rather than just painting the thing and a river and it being all about the river, um, he actually um, uh, was able to capture something else because he was looking at the light and how it affected the object and it wasn't so much about that, it was about capturing an atmosphere. So if you look at this one, he's painted this in the morning, uh, the Cathedral of Rouen. And this was a subject that was dear to his heart. He was really worried about how it was going to go with the war and the bombing because the, it was getting bombed during, during the war later on. So, um, yeah, you can see that the light is hitting the tower and so on. And, and it's almost ethereal. It's more of a feeling and a mood and an atmosphere. Um, and if we go over to this one, the light's hitting the doorway here. And it really becomes quite abstract. And the church becomes something that he just hangs on to for a structure, but doesn't really, um, you know, feel compelled to have to paint every detail. So, you know, if you were feeling worried about doing a painting of a building, you can see he's not so worried about all his detail. He's more interested in getting an overall effect, the light. It's not about getting every architectural detail crisp. He blurs edges and so on. And it's all about how those colors, that melange of colors comes together and um, gives us that atmosphere that if, even though we're not in front of that cathedral, we exactly know how that feels when you're, you're out one morning and there's some areas of the, the church that are cool and some that are getting the warm light and you have that feeling of being there. So I just thought I'd share that, a little touch of the impressions. If we just pop down here, I'll just, while there's nobody there, I'll show you the... Um, this is um, the hay bales at the end of summer. Um, I believe we have one in the National Gallery in Canberra uh, from the series. Um, and look how he makes that, how much colour there is in the shadows. Or, you know, a lot of people think the shadows are dark, but actually there's often the, the biggest opportunity for the colour. And he completely has shown us the beautiful lilacs and the, the, the gold ochres, slightly peachy tones, and then going into the turquoises. And he really knows how to cool and warm a space. And um, we can really get that sense on the back back trees that it's, it's summer from this combination of colours. But there's, you know, not one of his shadows are dark and dirty. They're all just full of colour and light um, at that time of the day. So, yeah, we're going down to paint where Monet painted on the River Creuse. And we're going to try a few of his techniques and see what happens with French Art School. Thank you so much.